Welcome to Survival Theory. If it stops raining, I'd like to do some fishing and show you how to use some of the fishing items in your survival fishing kit. If it doesn't stop raining, we'll do something else. Alright, let's go. Now for the spring pole fish trap, I'm just copying Corporal's Corner and I'll put a link down below to that video. He does a great job explaining it and demonstrating it. I've got my Y branch, my toggle, and the straight stick. And I pretty much just did the same thing he did as far as the carving. So we'll get that set up. I'm just using spider line. You can use monofilament fishing line spider wire, bank line, whatever you have. I'm going to use a cork with a golden hook, a weight, and then I'll have to catch some bait. Now what I did different in the corporal's corner is I used an existing tree on the shore. Got it tied there. String runs down to my toggle. The wire branch is holding in the mud, barely. I've got my straight stick. That line runs up to the end of the pole. To right there on the stick. And then it runs out I've got a cork right there, which I have to put bait on still. So what I'll do is I'll put this stick here. Twist my toggle around. There we go. Now I need to put bait on the cork. Alright, so I've caught a grasshopper. I'll put it on the hook. I'll throw it out and I'll just leave the camera on, see if we catch something. I think we got something already. Now, the spring pole definitely worked, thanks Corporal's Corner, but let's talk about some other options. But first, while we're talking about it, I'm going to set it up again. I'll let this one go right over there, then I'll put another grasshopper on it. So, get where I can still see that. What I wanted to talk about was, although this is an effective method and it's passive, you can let this do the job of fishing while you do other things. However, if the fish are biting readily, it might be faster and more efficient to just use a pole with a line at the end, throw it out by hand, and if they're biting within a minute, you know, you catch a fish, that's going to be a more efficient use of time than gathering the materials and carving these sticks and getting it set up. Especially in a place like this, <clears throat> it's probably more efficient to do it by hand with a pole. Sometimes this is gonna be more efficient because you're not gonna get that many bites, such as a, a muddy river or even something real clear water where your presence scares the fish away. So you have to be mindful of the time it takes versus if the fish are just going to bite right away anyway. 
So that's something to think about. Something around here. Now, if you have one of those little auto reels, you don't need to butchcraft this setup because the auto reel is going to do what this is doing. So there's an advantage to having an auto reel, you know, if you take it into the field. The advantage of this system is you don't have to take anything into the field except your small survival fishing kit, which has a hook, a weight, a cork, string. The rest you can bushcraft with the materials out in the field. Another thing to consider, <clears throat> if you're going to sit here and watch it, like I'm doing now, you would have been better off fishing by hand. So I just saw some nibbles again on that. So let's talk about some pros of this system. It's passive, so you don't have to be there. The pole does the fishing for you. Let's talk about some cons. You have to use live bait because you're not there to provide movement. So live bait is going to be your best bet. Another con is the setup time. It takes a little bit more time than just grabbing a stick and throwing some line at the end of it. So that's something to consider because in this case, in this particular area, I feel I could have had a pole with a line on it and not even went to live bait. I could have used a jig from my emergency fishing kit, thrown it out there, pulled it in a few times and caught something, probably over and over. Another con to this is it's stationary. Whereas with a pole, I can walk the perimeter of a pond, walk up and down the bank, and fish where I feel I need to. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a pole, set up a system that way, and do some hand fishing. And see, something's nibbling on it right now but it's not pulling the line tight, so it's not springing it. Whereas that bass took the whole bait, pulled the line tight. So for hand fishing, I just cut a piece of yopon. It's not that straight, really. But it's wide enough to grip here pretty good. You can see about how wide it is, a little bit wider than my finger. It's about eight feet long. I'm just going to tie some string near the end here. Uh, beat's about eight, nine feet long, and then I'll put a little beetle spin on the end of it. I've got one right here. So I'll just use one of these. Because I'm hand fishing, I can create movement, and I can move around the pond where I need to. So we'll see if I catch more with this technique. So I actually ran about about nine feet of line. Now I'm going to tie it to this little beetle spin. And whenever I'm tying these, I always use the improved clinch knot. One to one. One to one there. All right. Now the spring pole caught one just as fast, so we're even. Now in some circumstances that 9 or 10 feet of line you attach to it is too much. 
you can just wrap it up on the end here and shorten it right there it's kind of crowded with all the trees so I shortened it to about six feet long make it more manageable but this is a hand fishing so I'm portable I'm going to take it over there where it's more open So today, at this location, under these conditions, the hand pole beat out the spring pole. Maybe it's better to set up both if food is really an issue. If you're just moving through, a hand pole might be more efficient. You know, circumstances, right? So I'm going to get out of this rain and lightning and thunder, and we'll go over some fishing knots. Now the best fishing knot to know, especially with monofilament line or something very slippery, is the improved clinch knot. So to tie this knot, you run your string through the eye of your hook or your lure. And you're going to wrap it around four or five times. Now you'll go through that loop you created. But wait, now run it through that loop or that hole up there. Now when you pull that tight, a knot at self-tightening and it doesn't weaken your fishing line and it doesn't slip and this not slipping part is what makes this not great because this monofilament line slips very easily so just a simple knot there and I use that in all aspects of fishing because of its reliability and just out of habit. I don't have to think about whether or not the string is slippery or the knot's going to hold. I just tie an improved clinch knot and I'm done with it. best technique for fishing in general survival fishing but there is a best technique or method for each individual situation and you have to find out what that method is when you're at the location passive may be better because you're going to scare away the fish you know just by being there or in somebody's running river passive might work better in a place like I was earlier, just make a pole, put a line on it, throw it out there, catch your fish, and be done with it. So each, each situation has its own best technique. Now if you saw <clears throat> when I started walking around this pond, all those frogs jumping, maybe I'm better off not fishing at all. 
Maybe I'm better just making a, a gig real quick and catching some of these frogs. You know, it's situational. So the important thing is to gain skills and knowledge so that you have more options in the survival situation. And also practicing those skills, more and more experience to build on. So I'll put a link to Corporal Corner's website down below, or probably just his um, spring pole video. And from there you can access his channel, subscribe to it. He's got some great fishing, survival fishing videos. And I'll also put a link to animatednots.com. Great source for knots. The way they categorize them is in easy reference and the visualizations are great. So get out there and have some fun and enjoy yourself. Thanks for watching Survival Theory. Please share, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I might try to